بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم I am Professor Adam Ahmed Adam This is part 2 of the topic Streptococcus species This part is about Streptococcus pyogenes This bacterium is extremely important clinically it is group A according to Lyons field grouping and it is beta hemolytic according to hemolysis in blood agar. This is beta hemolysis, complete hemolysis, complete clearing of the blood around the growth in blood agar. In the body, it is found in dental plague, hypopharynx, and the upper respiratory tract. It has more than 150 strains depending on M protein. It has a capsule, and that capsule acts as an adhesion factor. And also the capsule acts as uh, antiphagocytic. The capsule fixes the bacterium to the tissue and it resists phagocytosis by phagocytic cells. It secretes tissue destructive virulent factors which we are going to see uh, in one of the coming slides. The infection takes place by direct contact. Streptococcus pyogenes is highly contagious. It affects people with reduced immune defense, not necessarily to be severely immunodeficient and people with broken skin and mucous membranes but any person can be affected as i mentioned it produces tissue destructive virulence factors these are streptococcal Toxins. These are exotoxins. The toxin streptolysin O is an enzyme. It mediates hemolysis. It is also immunogenic. In the body, it stimulates the immune system to produce antibodies. The antibody TTAC can be measured and made use of as an indicator of recent infection. Anti streptolysin O, ASO TTA, is a frequently requested test for uh, streptococcus pyogenes infection. Streptolysin S, this is an enzyme, also uh, it leads to beta hemolysis, moreover it is cardiotoxic, it is non-immunogenic. Streptococcal pyrogenic exotoxins as SPEA and SPEC, these are super antigens. They mediate scarlet fever, streptococcal toxic shock syndrome, and also necrotizing fasciitis. Streptokinase, this is a super antigen. It is a proteolytic enzyme. 
it activates plasminogen it dissolves fibrin medically it is used as thrombolytic agent in myocardial infarction so if there is any thrombosis in the coronary arteries the thrombi can be dissolved by the strip 2 kinase hyaluronidase this is a proteolytic enzyme it breaks the collagen in the body tissues to facilitate the bacterial spread so as to become invasive streptodornase this is an enzyme it liquefies pus medically it can be used in cleaning the thick pus then we come to diseases caused by streptococcus pyogenes they are classified into two groups on your left hand side invasive on your right hand side non-invasive the invasive diseases are due to direct invasion of the uh, streptococcus pyogenes to the body tissues like pharyngitis here you see inflammation of the tonsils and you see here the whitish pus on the tonsils also in pitigo, this is skin infection and septicemia yeah invading invading the bloodstream on your right hand side the non-invasive diseases these are either toxin mediated or immune mediated toxin mediated like streptococcal toxic shock syndrome necrotizing fasciitis and scarlet fever the immunologically mediated diseases are rheumatic fever and glomerulonephritis this is necrotizing fasciitis the necrosis of the tissues different tissues caused by the toxins this disease is very serious it is associated with streptococcal septic shock syndrome and if not promptly treated it may lead to death rheumatic fever and hence rheumatic carditis this is type 2 hypersensitivity reaction it occurs two to four weeks after pharyngitis tonsillitis i can say and commonly when the infection is repeated it is common among children in an age of 5 to 15 years what happens that repeated infection to the pharynx or tonsils the my the streptococcus pyogenes has got an antigenic protein known as m protein this m protein enters the body it stimulates the immune system and the immune system produces antibodies against m protein but an important but an important point here the m protein immunologically looks like the heart tissues 
So the produced antibodies can cross react with the heart tissues. This similarity is known as antigenic mimicry. And the, there will be pancarditis affecting the endocardium, myocardium, and epicardium. The most serious, the endocardium, when the heart valves are damaged. The mitral aortic and tricuspid. So they will be mitral stenosis, mitral incompetence, aortic stenosis, aortic incompetence, and also tricuspid stenosis and uh, tricuspid incontinence. There may be combination of lesions. The other immunologically mediated disease, the post streptococcal glomerulonephritis. This is type 3 hypersensitivity reaction. It comes about after skin infection, like in Pitago, like this. And the infection is not necessarily to be repeated. It once is enough to cause the post streptococcal glomerulonephritis. Much of the streptococcal antigens enter the body and uh, antibodies are produced. There will be antigen antibody reaction forming antigen antibody complexes, and they are they, they, they are excess, excess complexes more than the ability of the phagocytic system to clear them from the body. So meanwhile, they circulate in the blood and they may settle in the glomerular basement membrane. Once the complexes settle in the basement membrane, the complement will be fixed since the immunoglobulin here either IgG or IgM, complement fixation will lead to destruction of the complexes in addition to the tissue, the area, areas of the tissue on which they are settling. So there will be a patchy destruction of the basement membrane leading to glomerulophritis. Scarlet fever. This is toxin mediated by the uh, pyrogenic exotoxins, as you see in the table. Now you see the skin rash and the very red tongue. The tongue is known as the strawberry tongue. The scarlet fever is extremely contagious. Diagnosis. You take into account the clinical presentation or the clinical findings. Then the laboratory investigation, you take the specimen according to the clinical disease, so you can take a swab from the throat, from wounds. Also, you can take blood. Uh, the specimen uh, you you take, uh, you can make if you can make film. You, you can stain that by gram stain. You culture in blood agar, and you incubate at thirty-seven degrees centigrade overnight aerobic or anaerobic and beta to be aerobic you put a bacitracine this antibiotic disc in the uh, blood agar and after that you do catalyst test let us see the result 
The gram stain will show gram positive cocci arranged as canes, as you see here. And there is beta hemolysis, complete clearing of the blood around the gross. Sensitivity to bacitracine, so there will be a zone of growth inhibition about the bacitracine antibiotic disc. And the arrow is pointing. You can do the catalyst test, differentiate it from the staphylococci. It will be catalase negative. The treatment, beta-lactam drugs are the drugs of choice. So penicillin, also third generation kephalosporins. Other Drugs like macrolides, erythromycin, uh, adistromycin, for those who are sensitive to or hypersensitive to penicillin. Topically, myopyrosin and also clindamycin can be used. To guard against the occurrence of rheumatic heart disease for those who have recurrent tonsillitis or pharyngitis, you can give prophylactic long-acting penicillin, maybe twice for once twice a week or even once a month. The benzacine penicillin, which is known as Penador. There is no vaccine. By this account, this part is over. I hope that it is understandable and I wish you all the best.